Access to secured and clear land rights are essential foundations to developing a resilient and favorable business environment. In the rural areas, access to secured land is pivotal to poverty reduction and social inclusion. Prior to land management systems established by the colonial government, different Turner systems were used to manage land ownership and acquisition. Title security were guaranteed through families and community members. The growth in population, industrialization, and economic development, especially in urban and peri-urban areas, have significantly shaped land values and management. This documentary seeks to raise awareness of the challenges of property registration in Ghana and increase government focus on mechanisms to address these pitfalls. In Ghana, the institution established to advise and assist in the execution of a comprehensive program for the registration of title to land throughout the country is the Lands Commission. The Lands Commission's mandate can be found in the Constitution in Article 258. And also, it is also encapsulated in the Lands Commission Act of 2008, Act 767. Basically, our responsibility is to advise government on policy frameworks for land management. We are also supposed to provide advice to customary authorities, provide direction to ensure efficient management in land. Our basic objective is to achieve excellence in land administration. So whatever we are doing is supposed to make sure that we achieve excellence in all aspects of land administration. Despite efforts by the Commission to improve the effectiveness of land management, challenges associated with determining the right land owners and boundaries still persist. As a result, the land market is characterized by multiple sales of residential lands, indeterminate boundaries, sporadic registration of title, bureaucracies and land title registration, and different forms of conflicts. We have two main ways, main routes through which people can own land in Ghana. Through the, uh, what we call the former British approach, freeholds or leaseholds, and through customary where you come from an area and through some arrangements and agreements, your family owns some land and we understand how you inherit or even how you can buy from another family and so forth, that is there. And basically we say that uh, Ghana has, let's say two or three uh, types of land ownership. We have what we call the customary tenant or what people say is two lands or skin or family lands. These are lands that are held by traditional authorities in trust for their uh, community members. And we have state lands or public lands, which are lands that have been compulsorily acquired by the state for public services. And we can have private lands, lands which have been maybe acquired over the years from either the school or the state by individuals. We have tried with some legislation and sometimes even constitutional provisions to make it possible that the customary ownership like a chief can grant or give land to uh, people or people can buy land from these chiefs and uh, that transaction is designed as a lease, an English type lease, so that it can be registered in there. Uh, government papers. Several attempts to resolve the land market inefficiencies culminated to the National Land Policy in 1999, which was developed to provide direction to policy development and resolve fundamental land sector inadequacies. A 15-year land administration project, LAP, was implemented with the World Bank in 2003 with an overarching aim to modernize and improve the effectiveness of land administration, thereby increasing security of tenor and transferability of land rights. 
Before the land administration project, um, the divisions of the Lands Commission existed separately. So we had four different divisions, which were the Survey Department, the Land Title Registry, the Land Valuation Board, and then the former Lands Commission. Um, the Land Administration Project sought to bring these four agencies together. So before um, these four agencies were put together, the challenge was that in land registration, you had to deal with these four agencies separately. So we had crisscrossing functions and duplicating functions amongst these four divisions. So an applicant would several times have to deal with an organization. But after the land administration project brought these four agencies together by the Act 767, which was promulgated in 2008. Um, we tried to unify the functions of these four agencies as one agency now under the Lands Commission. Additionally, a client service access unit was established to serve as a one-stop shop were implemented to improve the business service, turnaround time and security land title registration. Prior to the land administration project, we had only two land registries in the country, one in Accra and one in Kumasi. So wherever your land falls, you have to come to these centres to register your land. So somebody buys a land in Wa, you have to travel all the way to Kumasi or Accra to register your land. But under the lab project, that's the first phase of the land administration project, we were able to decentralize this registration throughout all the regional capitals. Therefore, it became, registration became closer to the landowners. The combined effect of failure of land administration and management systems have culminated to landowners taking private security over land, which in several locations have led to violence and conflict. Lands Commission, Lands Commission, Land Title, the survey department, the government here, a queer na here, a meson, a banhanita, aba. Oh no, you see, a meson, a banhanita, aba. A jack a dubious means, the fair banoni abatoni, the frate, or document, call sign or document, you come here, Bernard B. Aba or Tashi no, a bar call, you come, the care, a mere gangi, a gemme. I mean, no one by sign or sing data. Lands Commission, land title, mean care boy. Near stamp, can see learning a use or near qua or do bound. Document like a baba, near qua le or do bound. I think it was more theoretical than practical. The players in the industry, I don't think, were largely consulted. We are still living in the past, so far as land administrative systems are concerned. For example, assessing information on land. It's a hectic something. In this 21st century, you don't have to go to Lands Commission and say, I'm coming to conduct a search. No. <laughs> Information Highway, we have similar business in the United States where if you just give me your house address, I should be able to tell you even the history when the house was built, who bought the land, how was the land sold, everything down there. And then registering your land in the same way is just behind your computer, and that is all. When you, you have a turnaround period of trying to, from beginning to end, trying to acquire land and register your interest when you think it should take you to a year or two, sometimes it could take you six years and you still don't see the end. Part of the difficulties with land commission record system is Part of what we do is, let's say you bring me a site plan, you say the land belongs to you. I would ask you, is it registered to you? What proof do you have is yours? And you might tell me you've actually registered your interest with Land Commission. So I would take that site plan, go to Land Commission to run a search. Land Commission will give me a report back saying that, hey, this land actually belongs to this person. So I might reflect with a report with your name on it, confirming that, yes, the land belongs to you. Based on that, we will move on to other phases of 
closing the negotiating with the land or giving them some form of money to show commitment. But along the line, maybe another person will come out, out of the woodwork and say that the land also belongs to him and asks us to do a search again. And then you run the same search on the same piece of land with land commission only for them to now come back with a different information for you. One fundamental um, challenge that we haven't been able to address in Ghana since independence is the fact that there are two main ways of owning land and property in Ghana, either through the former British system or through the customary system that our fathers set aside, uh, uh, set in place before even the colonials came to Africa. For me, one challenge is that our land administration system has only focused on registering and managing land and land ownership solely within the British uh, system. That in itself wouldn't be a challenge until you realize that almost all rural land holdings and a lot of even urban land holdings are really originating and held in the customary system. The challenge we face with customary tenure is the indeterminate boundaries of most of these customary owners. Now, when you look at the Conveyancing Act, which governs how land is transferred from one person to the other, it is based on the capacity of the person. So if there is doubt as to who owns what, it slows down land registration. a whole lot of nine nila e fantu je la 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 noni ona bo ni yo in many cases because of also the very nature of the disputes you tend to see that different courts of the of coordinate jurisdiction adjudicate on matters affecting the same piece of land so court a may be taking a decision affecting two different parties Court B may be taking a decision based on two other different parties, but maybe it affects the same piece of land. The challenge we have with a lot of the court settlements are that uh, it is the parties that go to court that are ahead and they get judgments. But it does not investigate the other underlying interests in the land. So sometimes the decisions of the court are brought, but then you find that those who are not parties to the land also have interest in the same piece of land which has been adjudicated. So what it does is that it spews new disputes which also have to go before the court. Cash be an I get plaintiff can again plaintiff in a can I can I can defend and allow parties. No back part judges fight now I'm a question near me or your bound. She dead men uh huh twelve February two thousand and nine that Friday is not fair. It's not fair. There are some lands that land commission will say that, yes, they've given Mr. Kojo certificate that proves that he's gone through all the processing, shown that the land belongs to him or they vetted his process of buying the land. But within the same land commission, when an issue or a challenge occurs, they will say that, hey, you have to go to court to face it out. And in going to court in Ghana, some land court cases can take 10 20 years, I even know of cases that are 30 years. So if, for an instance, you've already invested in terms of paid family, half or full of the amount of the value of the land, and now you have to go to court for another 10 years, paying legal fees, lawyers' fees, within that time point. Now, it's money that you could have used to develop more homes or build, and now you have to now maybe go raise money or take another loan to continue your projects that you are already doing whilst you face that battle in court. The state 
of our land registration system is not, if you like, fit for purpose. It's not good enough to be able to capture all the customary tra transactions, and it's, not, uh, and it's not even good and efficient enough to capture even the English bit. Digitization has been noted as essential to improving clear property titles of land ownership and efficiency of service delivery. To mitigate the challenges associated with property registration, the Ghana Enterprise Land Information System, GELIS, was developed. Nonetheless, the GELIS is yet to be deployed. The Ghana Enterprise Land Information System was initiated under the LAP2 project to ensure that the day-to-day -day activities of the Lands Commission and Lands Secretary Agencies are automated using common databases and ensure that they work within an, a digital environment. And but however, as a result of certain challenges, especially finance, we are not able to implement or develop the full sc scope of the GELIS. From our own internally generated funds, what we're doing is to digitize a pilot area. So we've taken four pilot areas, which covers Accra and some portions of uh, Tema district. And these four pilot areas, what we're doing is to digitize all the records. We are, we are almost done. We will be rolling it out and going live with that um, pilot district by the end of August. We need to look at approach it in almost like in three different parts. Start with the very urban area, start with the peri-urban and start with the, and then to the rural. So coming from the urban area, to be very honest with you, when I used to work in Lands Commission, I was the head of the LIS unit, the unit that became almost like the niche for the commission's automation. The staff, the people in Lands Commission are doing their best, but it gets to a certain point, you realize that knowledge, knowledge within is not enough. You may bring in knowledge from outside to add to what you know to be able to move on. It's normal with every human being. Now, in terms of what has been the effort at automation, so you mentioned jealous, but to automate, there are two sides. There's a people side, and there's a technology side. Somehow in this country, it's not just the commission. I've seen it across. Very often, we tackle the technology side and forget that there's a people side to it. No technology works without the right understanding of people. The understanding of how it was to be done was not very strong. So uh, it was slow and the sort of output we got was not what actually what we desired. So right now, with the experiences that we have built under the land administration, we are coming up with a very robust land information and management system that then virtually will convert all this. It all boils down to resources. We, we, we can do so much with our internally generated funds, but to be able to cover the entire country, we need an injection of, of uh, funds. Imani believes that a robust land management system is critical to business development and poverty reduction in Ghana. Thus, the surest way to address the challenges affecting the property registration in Ghana is to decentralize property registration to ensure clear land ownership rights and systematically build a land title database. This way, government can effectively collect property taxes and business could raise capital with clear property rights. In terms of what could have been done to improve the registration processes, we need to bring the processes of the notice to the communal level for the deeds for the title system. Two, I'm also saying that by virtue of the improved plans we use as a country, the whole country should be seen as a title area. So which means that we have one homogeneous basis to go through the processes of registering land. It's as simple as that. Going forward to really improve land registration system in Ghana, and thankfully, everybody's view on digitization, to, for me, is a great idea, all right. But it wouldn't work if we approach it the way we've been approaching things. That is to say, 
if you set good systems, digitize and so forth, and ask people that if you buy property and if you want, come and we'll put it in our record. Property registration essentially is about building a database for who owns what part of the country. A lot of bureaucracy in the current system and bureaucracy is good sometimes but at the same time when you're jumping through the same hoops and you're not getting the results or the timelines are not clear or there's that kind of changing and kind of seize work within that same system then it makes it difficult for people working within a certain timeline. The laws are that after 12 years of somebody occupying your land uninterrupted the land belongs to him adverse possession they call it i have come onto you you have a title you 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 you, you stay some you staying somewhere i have come to occupy your land and for uh, you haven't asked me any question for 12 years <laughs> the law says that the land should be should be for me if you have any issue go back to court so i think that we as well as a nation have to look at some of these laws going into the future um we have as our motor client services is, is our goal. You know, we want to um, serve our clients better and make sure that our services to, to the general public is much, much improved. And that is exactly what we are working on. And we believe that if we are able to put the structures in place, if we are able to digitize all these records and move from the manual state into the digital environment, we believe that we will be able to serve our clients better in terms of turnaround time, in terms of efficiency, in terms of client satisfaction. You know, we believe that um, in the near future we should be able to get there. And that is what we are working towards. It's important to fashion our land administration within the serious context of decentralization. I am a very, very serious advocate of decentralization.